Welcome everyone. Uh, I am on my way with my buddy Nick to Barnes & Noble. Yeah, there's Nick's hand. Barnes & Noble is half an hour away, so we are heading over right now. Uh, you may be wondering, Nathan, why are there two bandages on you? What did you do? The way I funded this Criterion Hall is I have been donating plasma for the past month. I'm gonna be very transparent. I made $365 from it, and so I have like some money to spend on this Criterion cell. I'm very happy because like that's like the sole reason I've been donating plasma, you know, to uh, earn money and also to save lives. So if you like earning money or saving lives, then you should do that too. Today, I went to donate plasma. I donated on my left arm first and they didn't really have a reason. They basically just said that like there's some sort of clottage in the needle or something. Long story short, they couldn't donate from the left arm today. So they donated from my right arm. So now I have bandages on both arms. <laughs> just makes me even more excited for Criterion shopping, honestly. <laughs> Sacrifices have to be made. Battle wounds have to be made. You know, do anything for the Criterion Collection. That's not true, but I do love the Criterion Collection. While I'm on camera, should we talk about one of our definites, each of our definites? Do you have one definite? You have a definite. I do. Okay, I'll go first since the camera's on me. Yeah. My definite, okay, I have a few definites, but I'll go ahead and say that one of my definites absolutely positively is In the Heat of the Night with Sidney Poitier. Because I watched that movie in my 24 hour movie marathon, absolutely loved it, and I need to own it. And so that's one of my definites. Uh, <laughs> hey, how's it going, <laughs> everyone? Oh my gosh, my teeth look so white. One of my definites uh, is going to be Solaris. I have really wanted to watch Solaris. I've been holding off on it. I know it's on HBO Max. I do have HBO Max, but I've been holding off on it so that way I can get it on the Criterion uh, format because that is the best way to see it. Uh, and we're passing this truck and this guy's probably looking at me like we're absolutely insane. I do have another definite pretty much uh, if it's there. Uh, it should be, but I will let you guys know when we actually pick everything up. Solaris is actually on my definite list too, but I'm gonna I thought let... you already owned it. No, I don't own really? it. Really? But I'm gonna let Nick get it if there's only one copy today because I'll be going again at the end of the month with my little sister in Arizona. If I can't get it today, it's totally fine. Like you can, you can get Solaris today. Cool. Um, and uh, Thanks for giving me permission. You're welcome. You have- Thank you, Dad. You have my wounded arms permission. Thank you, Dad, I appreciate it. No problem, son. Now go do your chores. I'm disappointed in you. Oh my gosh, what's happening to this lane? Ah! So, I will see you guys in the store. Oh, I'm tempted, like, a lot of people are getting it. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Okay, well, already got one of my death nets. And also, this is another one I want to get because it's also directed by Sydney Lumet. Okay, quick shout out to Jared for uh, shipping this shirt to me. I'm gonna put his, the link to his channel in the description below, but thank you for sending it to me because the shirt is amazing. Oh, to be or not to be is here. That's Didn't a pretty one up last time? Uh, yep, last July, a year ago. Oh, they have Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I'm already going crazy because this is. Oh man, oh my gosh, I already have four. Dude, I have a list. Usually, I don't create a list before coming to these sales, but seriously, I have a list for this one because I've watched some movies that I know I want to own. So I already have, we haven't even been in here five minutes and I already have five titles in my hand. So this is going great. I have, I have zero. Okay, I got to get In the Heat of the Night. Oh, I also have to see if they have the Marseille trilogy. That's the I one. know if they have Solaire. Okay. Hey, have you not gone that yet? No. Oh, dude, they, they have it. Yes. Is this Blu-ray? What is this? DVD edition. Yes. Okay. Well, why am I showing you guys this? This isn't a surprise. <laughs> so because I have a little bit of extra spending money from Plasma, I wanted to get a boxed set today. And I looked at the Criterion website of what boxed sets I'd be interested in. And this one really interested me. And so I very well might get this. And I just noticed in the heat of the night as I was talking. There we go. Uh, I'm still trying to find Tim. Oh, wow. Did you find it? There it okay. is. There's See you later. One. Vampire could be a good one. It's a good vampire movie. Have you seen it? Only just have wings. Yeah, I do. I own it. So this is another one that I'm thinking about getting. Okay, so I'm gonna film in-store footage with my phone because I just realized my camera is at half battery life, and so I want to make sure I have enough battery juice to film the final video. So we'll use the phone. I totally forgot that I wanted to pick up Failsafe, so I already got Failsafe. That's a great movie if you guys are wondering which ones you should pick up. Come and see, this is a popular title right now. 
I don't think I'm gonna get it today though. Army of Shadows is another one I was interested in. Cobra Trilogy was another one I was interested in. This is nice packaging for All About Eve. I've seen this movie once, but don't remember too much from it. This one piques my interest, but it's only like half an hour long, so. I think I'll watch it on the Criterion channel instead of purchasing it. Add it to the possible pile. Yeah, yeah. It's always gonna be my possible pile. Honestly, Ace in the Hole. Okay, look what I just did. That's 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 great. Ace in the Hole is another possible for me too. Oh my gosh, dude. Straight up, this is a Criterion that like, I always think looks really cool, but I don't know if I want to get it because someday I might get the complete collection from Ingmar Bergman. So I don't know if I want to buy it individually. There you go. Put it in your pile. Put it in your pile. Good enough. So this movie is directed by the guy who stars in Wild Strawberries. It's a really good silent film. Nick loves silent films. I hate silent films, man. This is stupid. I have video evidence of you saying that. I don't care. I hate them. <laughs> hey, Nick, check this out. You gotta get comfortable at these kind of sales because you don't know how long you'll be here. I got my pile right here, just relaxing, reading this description for this criterion that I didn't even know was on the collection. Apparently it's fine 661, so where have I been? Why do I do this to myself? And this isn't even from the piles I'm buying. This is the pile I wanna buy. And then there's all these moves I have to choose from. Come on. All right, so I have to eliminate some of these. So I'm going to eliminate Ace in the Hole because this is just a standard Amore case. And I know they have another edition out there somewhere that's a nicer edition. Kind of like El Sarpasa right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of Great Dictator for now too. This is the kind of movie that I'll ask for Christmas or my birthday, but I don't think I wanna get it right now. And I'm kind of feeling the same way about Passion of Joan of Arc. Both movies that I really wanna own, but I just can't bring myself to buy them right now. The thing is, I just watched these movies and I don't need them right away in the collection. I know I want them in the collection, but I really want to get some blind buys from the sale just so I have some movies to watch this summer too. Elevator to the Gallows, that's on Criterion Channel, so I think I'm gonna check it out first there. Okay, we're down to eight. This is another one that I could ask for Christmas or for my birthday. This is a movie that once I do own it, I will have owned every Hitchcock Blu-ray from Criterion, so that's pretty cool. This is one that I want, but I'm kind of torn because if it's anything like Robinson Crusoe on Mars, then I'm probably not gonna like it because I just did not enjoy that movie. One of the reasons I'm interested in this one is because it comes with the original radio broadcast from Orson Welles. That's what some YouTubers have been saying, and I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like, yeah, it definitely includes it. But I'm wondering if I can just catch it on YouTube somewhere, but it's not the same as The Great Darian. Ugh, so hard. I don't think I'm gonna get it today just because it wasn't on my original plans, and I'm not feeling it. Harold and Maude is another one I really wanna get, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it today or not. I just saw it recently. I don't need to watch it again anytime soon. Then Dreams is a Kira Kurosawa and it's color and freaking Martin Scorsese plays Vincent Van Gogh, which is so random to me. So it's really intriguing to me. And I've seen three of his films now, so I want to see more. So that's still in the possible pile. Fugitive Kind, Sidney Lumet. He hasn't gone wrong yet in my eyes. So I'm really interested in that too. Oh man, I love Cary Grant and Gene Arthur. That's like, and then it's directed by Howard Hawks who did His Girl Friday. Really tempted about that one. And then this is one I had no intentions of getting, but it just sounds cool. And then my buddy Carson uh, recommended this movie and it has cool, cool packaging too. So I'm very tempted for this one too. All right, guys, we are back home, ready to show you our haul. You guys know how this goes. We will be doing it in criterion, or in, in order of spy number. And so I'll share, I got a little bit more than Nick. And so I'll do like two spines and then- The first time Nate's ever gotten more than me, let's be honest. I know, it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> more, this is the first yeah. time we've gotten more than anybody. Right? I know, yeah, I usually don't get as many, but plasma money, man, it, it paid off. I spent all my money on this Baby Yoda shirt. First one is Fugitive Kind. This is spine number 515. The reason I wanted to pick this one up is because it is directed by Sidney Lumet, and I am getting more into his movies right now. I've loved everything I've seen from him so far. This is definitely a blind buy, but I'm really excited to check it out. And then we've got spy number 806, which is Only Angels Have Wings. Now this movie is exciting because it has Cary Grant and Gene Arthur, both actors that I really love. It also came out in 1939, and that was a great year for movies. We got Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Gone with the Wind, um, Wizard of Oz, this, and then another movie I'll be showing a little later in the video. It just looks like a good movie, I'm excited. So one of my definites uh, I found very early on, this is a must own if you're a Criterion collector, uh, and 
this is a guy who gave a lot of inspiration for George Lucas with Star Wars, and that is Akira Kurosawa. Akira Kurosawa, <laughs> Seven Samurai, Spine Number Two. This movie, uh, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Uh, this was on my definite, uh, for sure. If it was there, 100%, I was getting it. Happy I, I ended up picking it up and uh, super excited to watch this. Um, you know, just epic packaging all around, you know, by Criterion. Okay, and then next up, I got Spine 842, which is Dreams. I had no plan on getting this movie, and it was actually Elliot Cohen who convinced me. It's about Akira Kurosawa's Dreams put to screen. It's in color. And Martin Scorsese plays Vincent Van Gogh. If that doesn't intrigue you, I don't know what will. Spine number 164, Solaris. This is my most Great definite movie. pick. I had to get this. Uh, there was only one copy, because Nate was going to pick it up if there was a second copy. But unfortunately, there was only one. I'll get it at the end of the month. Yeah, so I ended up picking it up. Super excited to watch this. This is probably going to be the first one that I, cr I uh, crack open and watch. And Prepare uh, yourself. It's it's. You had to mentally prepare yourself. Well, that's movie. fine. Because I've heard it's a lot like 2001 A Space Odyssey with its pretension. And I love 2001 A Space Odyssey. So, you know, I, I'm not I'm not Nate who doesn't like 2001. I've only seen it once. I was in, like, middle school. I hate it. <laughs> Next up is something I'm super excited about because other than the Hitchcock collection, I don't really own any movie sets. So after looking on the Criterion website, I found out about this one. It's called the Marseille Trilogy. And it just sounds so feel good, just like a heartwarming film trilogy. It's spine number 881, but yet the movies say 882, 83, and 84. So I don't know how that works. It's a French film, I believe. Yeah, French with English. That makes sense because Marseille is in France. So that makes sense. I honestly don't know much about this movie other than the minute and a half trailer I saw on the Criterion website. But from what I saw, I needed to own it. So I'm really excited about this one. The next one I picked up is spine number 437. And this is a silent film that is Vampire. I am so excited to watch this movie. Uh, I really want to watch Nosferatu, which is not on the Criterion Collection. I don't it's believe, not. Which it's is not. sad. But this one, I figured I can kind of have like a double feature. Oh, yeah, there you go. With uh, Nosferatu and Vampire. It's there only 73 go. minutes long. Really easy movie to watch. Really easy movie to watch. But honestly, like, they also, it also comes with a book. I, I think that that's pretty amazing. Uh, will I read it? No, because I'm illiterate. But... Uh, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm super excited to watch this film, and uh, it's going to be one that will be on my uh, 50 foreign films that I watch at the end of the year. There you go. So, yeah, uh, it has a really interesting take on vampires. It's not like your traditional vampire story where like they can't be in sunlight or whatever. Like, it, it, I don't know. From what I remember, <laughs> okay. it's just like... It's just, do, they, do they shine when they're in the No, sun? they don't. No. Okay. <laughs> like, it's just a very interesting take, so I liked it. Okay, and then I got spine number 945, which is A Raisin in the Sun. Honestly, the rest of the movies from here on out are all newer releases to the collection. Number four, 945, this stars Sidney Poitier, which is literally the only reason I got it because I was so impressed with his performance in In the Heat of the Night that I gotta see more of this guy's career. I'm really excited to check this out. I watched a short clip of it on the Criterion channel and, or the Criterion Collection website and it just, it intrigued me and I really like his acting. So I'm super excited for this. Do you like raisins? I hate raisins. Me too. Yeah, Leave raisins us down, let us, are disgusting. Let us know down below in the comment section. Do you like raisins? Okay? Yeah, the movie looks really good though. I'm so you, excited. Do you like raisins? I, I don't. He doesn't. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Come on next video because I don't give a crap about your opinion. <laughs> the next film that I picked up is spy number 577. And it's a Roman Polanski film. This one I'm actually probably the most excited for. I haven't, I never heard of it before. And that is Cold Day Sack. I read the back of this and it looks absolutely intriguing. Um, it, it feels like Sharon Tate's story. Yeah, it basically feels like, because this was after uh, the murder of Sharon Tate, and it feels like this is kind of a personal film for Roman Polanski. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it deals with paranoia. Um, next up, I've got another Sidney Poitier film. It's spy number 959, In the Heat of the Night. So In the Heat of the Night is a movie that I watched for my 24 hour movie marathon. It was my favorite movie of the entire marathon. It was way better than I thought it would be. I was expecting a good movie, but it ended up being a great movie. And so this is what inspired me to see Raisin in the Sun. If you guys haven't seen this movie, definitely pick it up in the collection. It's worth a blind buy and uh, Rod Steiger gives a great performance. Sidney Poitier obviously gives a great performance. And I'm so excited to check this out. Not only that, but watch the supplements. Then we've got Spy Number 986. That's The Baker's Wife. The Baker's Wife is a movie I wanted to get last collection, but I didn't end up getting. And so I'm really glad that I was able to get it for this collection or for this haul. The star of this movie is the star of the Marseille trilogy as well. So 
He just seems like a good guy. Like, I'm excited to see his filmography. The, the next movie is a movie that Nate hasn't watched. I'm just gonna diss him right now. It's my number 615, and I, it's the only movie that I have watched out of the ones that I picked up today, and that is Gold Rush, uh, Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. It actually comes with both, uh, both versions of the film, 1942 version and the 1925 version. I have seen the 25 version, uh, which is awesome. Uh, this movie is very hilarious. I, I love it. It's I, I'm not a big silent film person, but I, I really do like this uh, movie a lot. And uh, the rest of this, of me explaining, this is going to be si in silence. <laughs> you look up, I've got, uh, I've got spy number 10, 11. First spy in the collection that's past a thousand, I think. Failsafe, people. I love Failsafe. It's so good. And also, who the heck put the sticker right there? Anyways, great movie. Another Cindy Lumet film. Uh, I've talked a lot about this film recently on the channel, so if you guys haven't seen it, then check it out. And there are a lot of movies that I didn't want to pick up because I'd already seen them. The movies that I've shown so far that I have seen, I love them so much that I wanted to buy them right now. Whereas those other movies, I can wait a little longer before buying them. All right, guys, so my camera definitely died. And we have like two movies left to show. And so I'm gonna film the rest of this on my iPhone. Here we go. My next movie is Spine number seven. Can I finally read it? I don't even know. Uh, 12, that is, it's so annoying. Like, oh, the, the packaging's yeah, the covering packaging it. Is covering it. This movie, I love the cover of the packaging and that's really why I bought it. And that is Scanners by David Cronenberg. So what can I expect from this movie? Body Garbage. gore. <laughs> That's pretty much like literally it's gonna be like a lot of liquid and fluids and uh, it's gonna be interesting But there's a lot of awesome supplements including a 2014 documentary on the film special effects mm. Which is awesome because that's I love, crazy just on the yeah, yeah, I love special effects a lot and then there's like a ton of interviews and then there's these booklets that you know I never read Oh my gosh, you should start doing that. I need to read them. I need <laughs> okay, to read them. I was going to say, that's like part of the experience, I, See, dude. I don't read them for movies that I haven't watched, though. Because they're... Oh, because they're you spoilers. read them. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Like, I read the one for Fantastic Mr. Fox. That was good. That's so good. That was a good one. Good read. Um, By the way, you should pick that one up on Criterion. Yes, you should. Okay, so uh, next one is Find 1024, which is kind of cool, because that's my birthday, October 24th. Anyways, it is Destry Rides Again, and it's even cooler because it's a Jimmy Stewart film! So this, is a, this was a movie that was on my list of definites for this sale, and I will own any James Stewart film on the collection. And so the fact that this came to the collection, I had to get it. Don't really know much about it. This is also a film from 1939, so it can join the collection of Only Angels Have Wings, Gone with the Wind, Mr. Smith, all those great movies. And so hopefully it's as good as those ones, or even better. Really excited to watch it. All right, the creme de la creme. I, I don't know if that's how you say it. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> My last movie, this is one of the most recent ones to hit Criterion. This is a movie I've not seen yet, unfortunately. But it's also a movie that Jackson bought as well because Jackson and I, we understand good cinema. At least I've seen it. <laughs> uh, spy number 1025, <laughs> the Grand Budapest Hotel. <laughs> Dude, I, by the way, I love this this uh, this design though. Really nice design. Like, look at that. It's a beautiful. It's like crisp. Edition. It's it's really nice. I love the light. It's really just crisp. Beaming right into it. It's uh it's it's really crispy and I like it a lot. Um, it, this movie came out in 2014. I I was on my mission at this time, so like I missed it, and because of that. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, and I do like Wes Anderson, but I'm slowly getting to Wes Anderson. You really have to kind of be in the mood to watch one of his films. Except for mm -hmm. if it's Fantastic Mr. Fox. I can watch that any, any day of the week. It's always applicable. All right, guys. My last pick up. Nick's a weirdo. <laughs> my last pick up is Spy Number 1027. And I actually... Wasn't really planning on getting this because I recently watched it for the 24 hour marathon and I liked it a lot, but like I knew it was coming to the collection, but I didn't have plans of getting it like anytime soon. But just watching other people pick it up on YouTube, I was like, gosh, like I really do need to own it. I, it needs to be in the collection. And that is The Great Escape. Now The Great Escape is a movie that, as I said, I watched it for the marathon, but it was so enjoyable. The entire movie is the escape plot. There's not really any dull or boring moments. It's always kind of you know, has you invested in the movie. What are you doing, Nick? Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Hold it up again. 
Look at the cat. <laughs> it's like staring right now. Now the cat is peeking above the ground. Isn't that not funny? Like, I think that's so funny. Dude. Look at this, they're friends. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> it's like looking at the to get out of a collection like, here. So Great Escape. Really glad to own it in the collection. It's just one of those movies that I thought about and I was like, you know what? It just makes sense. I just need it in the collection. So I got it. And I'm happy I did. You know what I love? What do you love? The cat is all about this Criterion sale. Baby Yoda is not. Look at him. He's not even looking this way. Yeah, he's, he's just like looking way. over here. He's like, I'm I don't even know these weirdos. Yeah. Why do you own my shirt? Speak for yourself. It's funny how like we're wearing kind of the same thing. Uh, we really are. I love it. <laughs> we didn't plan this no, at we didn't. all. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love making these kind of videos and bringing you along with us. Make sure to check out Nick's channel. He also filmed the entire experience. So make sure to check out his version of it and subscribe to his channel while you're there. And hopefully I'll have another video out uh, later on this month of my second haul at Barnes & Noble. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Get the hell out. <laughs> Yes, I wanted to do that for so long. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you please keep that in? Yeah, I'll leave it in. <laughs> yes. I wanted to do that. You have no idea. Sure, what I it's a, to oh, do okay, all right. <laughs> Look at the cat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have you ever seen it? I did. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm actually not that big fan of a cat of cats. I like dogs. Look at this dog's dog. better. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Anyway, um, Anyway, back to maturity.